What is up, everybody? Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Very, very excited for this one. This is going to be a big one. I might even have to roll my sleeves up for this one. Uh, this one is a uh, WWE Shop Unboxing. You can tell by uh, the uh, title above. This is the largest WWE Shop Boxing I've ever done. The boxes uh, were here uh, when I got home today, and I am very excited uh, to bust these open. Um, none other than my, my good buddy Chad Rapp. I used to watch his videos back in the day. He used to get a lot of uh, unboxings. He used to go to a lot of like conventions and, and meet a lot of people. And I always thought that his videos were were really cool. And um, he uh, tweeted me, um, I believe, early last week, um, saying that WWE Shop was having a you know one of those sales where they just say we got to get all this shit out of here. They do this before WrestleMania a lot um, with all the new WrestleMania merch. They needed a, a, a spot to put everything. Um, and they needed to clear some space. Um, so basically they had all of their clearance items that were already marked down 40% off of their already clearance sale price. And as you can tell, I went bananas. Uh, you can follow Chad at ChadCar2001. Uh, he is the reason why we are doing this today. So uh, like I said, we got three boxes. We're going to be here for a little bit. Maybe you press pause. Maybe you go get something to drink. Maybe grab a bag of Doritos. I got these uh, screaming shutters that I picked up at Costco the other day. Three dollars for a huge bag of Doritos. You can't go wrong. Honestly, they taste like normal Doritos to me, so it is what it is. But uh, we'll start. I got my uh, X-Acto knife here that I, I took from work. We got the um, good size box. It feels like it's pretty packed uh, to the gills, so let's see what's inside of uh, this bad boy. Um, like I said, 40% off of clearance prices. Everything must go. I remember I filled my cart up and I had a back it, a backpack from Tough Enough in there because it was $10. And then I started thinking about it and I was like, do I really want a backpack that says Tough Enough on it? So I ended up taking it out. And I, this box isn't as full as I thought it was. We got some paper in here. We got some paper in here. Some more plastic. We got um, bad news. We got the new John Cena book. I could have done a better cover than that, honestly, in my mind. Um, that's going to be coming out. Let's see these bad boys. These were on sale. Uh, maybe I need that to say what the sale prices were. I got uh, two pairs of these bad boys for six bucks. So three dollars a pair. I thought maybe what's the worst that can happen? But oh, maybe I can see me rocking these. I think I like these. These are the John Cena sunglasses. They're all the same. The only difference is they put You Can't See Me or they put Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns or the Bella Twins on the side. I picked up two pairs of those in case I liked them. I'm still looking for my... Um, oh, wow. I wonder what this mysterious thing is. I'm still looking for my James Storm TNA sunglasses. Uh, I think I lost them at Monday Night Raw. That was the last place that I remember having them in San Jose in WrestleMania 31. I really liked those glasses. Um, anybody want to guess what is in the mysterious package? I've honestly been really looking forward to this. I wanted to find a good sale price uh, to pick this up. I actually was thinking about trying to meet this guy uh, WrestleMania weekend, but I thought the odds weren't in my favor. And I thought it'd be easier if I just picked this up from WB Shop. But this is the brand new book from Bob Backlund. This book, uh, for all no, from an all-American boy to professional wrestling's world champion, Bob Backlund with Rob Miller with a forward by Roddy Roddy Piper. Awesome picture of uh, Backlund on the back. I've heard this is one of the best wrestling books you can get. It actually reads like a textbook on the world of professional wrestling. And the one thing that I want to learn about Bob Backlund from this book more than anything else is the fact of where the hell did he go? I know that he was champion for, for, for a long, long time. And then all of a sudden one day he disappeared. And then, you know, around WrestleMania 9, the guy shows back up and decides he wants to be a superstar again. He missed the glorious glory days of the WWF, the days of Hulk Hogan. Honestly, he, he wouldn't have been the guy but he still would have made a lot of money. And I don't know if he wrestled for AWA or, or where he went. But um, those are my mysteries. I remember the um, the videos of him coming back. They made it look like he was a school teacher or a carpenter or something like that. And um, it was it was really, really weird. But I put the book on top of the receipt. I wanted to see this because I think I only paid like 
six dollars for this yeah 5.98 we'll open this bad boy up this looks really nice too for only six bucks and i was able to actually get it in my size i was scared that i was sometimes you go to the clearance bin and they only have larges instead of extra larges but this is a, a really nice sweatshirt right here it's got the john cena logo they had to get rid of all this stuff because the tap out stuff is coming soon the back says won't be stopped but ah got the hoodie a really nice zip up hoodie six bucks can't go wrong throw it on the chair of shirts and then this one was really cool this one i did have to get in a large because it didn't have any extra larges back but i had this in my cart a couple of times and i really wanted to get it i love the feel of their throwback logo shirts and they've been doing a lot of these i think this sort of to fight pro wrestling tees but sergeant slaughter cobra clutch pretty kick-ass shirt i like that a lot uh, from there uh, we'll go to the uh the semi main anybody got any guesses what they think is in this bad boy we'll flip this bad boy open This is going to be really nice. Woo. Oh, this is cool. It honestly isn't as big as I thought it was going to be, but uh, this is the evolution of Triple H. Um, uh, aristocrat, assassin, authority we see him breaking in in like 96 as hunter hearst helmsley then the leader of dx the world heavyweight champion the king of kings and then as the authority really nice picture not numbered and not signed that was the biggest complaint on these when they first came out but i was i was glad to pick these up from the uh the discount bin um hulk hogan at uh t at, at hollywood hogan shop or hulk, hogan's deep shop or whatever it is online um, they sell one that's signed uh, by Hogan for $180. Um, I don't know. I've looked at that, honestly, a couple of times. And I, I don't know if they run sales or don't do sales. But uh, I'm waiting for something. Is this the main? Dun, dun, dun. Yes, it's not on the receipt. So it must have a receipt inside of the box on its own. Oh, no. Each package has its own receipt. I didn't see the package in there. Other one, it must be on the cover, but I couldn't believe the steal of a deal that I got on that bad boy. I guess you can't see it yet. You might be able to guess what it is if you're an avid WWE shop goer. I hear from comments that people hate it when you mess with these bubbles, but there ain't nothing I can do. So, number one, 190. I got that mirror under the mirror of the light right in there. Sting debut Survivor Series 2014 Scottsdale Center in St. Louis, Missouri. I remember I had a few friends go to the show and I was scared for them because of everything that was going down around that time. It, it didn't seem like a safe place to be with St. Louis that time. Um, but there's Sting um, coming out making his debut during the Team Authority versus Team Cena match. There's the big 8x10 right there signed by Sting at the bottom. A piece of the mat um, that they use at Survivor Series. Um, Triple H, you know, getting kicked, taking the Scorpion Death Drop there. I like all the pictures all down the side, sort of show the action of the down to the ground. Um, but it says Sting has landed. It's showtime with millions watching in amazement. Sting shocked the world at Survivor Series, stepping foot inside a WWE ring for the first time ever to thwart Triple H and help Team Cena and the Authority uh, rule. And for all. What? Oh, end the authorities rule once and for all. Well, he ended it for about six weeks, if that. <laughs> then right there. That's nice. Really nice. I, I don't think that Stinger's going on the wall, though. At least not yet. Not till I get rid of these bookshelves. Uh, one of the projects that I'm going to be working on in the upcoming months is um, actually putting shelves, like one, one shelf that just continuously goes around the top of the the whole room and hopefully that's going to be enough room for me to put up all my uh figures and all of my uh dvds 
that I'm gonna be keeping in my collection. And then I'll have more room on the walls because I, I, I got one, two, three, four, five, six bookshelves that take up a big bulk of the room. There's, there's no room for anything on this wall. This wall is completely taken up by bookshelves minus where the window is. There's a bookshelf right here in this corner that goes to here with the window. I've got room right here and right here for these plaques that you see, and that's just about it. So I've got tons of these. This is honestly going to be the fifth plaque this size that's sitting on my on my floor, still in a box. I, I don't even know how many I have in the closet. That I don't know which ones there are anymore. I, I can tell you that there's two Undertaker WrestleMania 28s, not counting this one that's in, in, in my closet. So there's this one. Sting has landed 40 bucks. 40. Wowzers. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys down the road. This was a good one. Peace out, everybody.